I'm bleeding out, but at the same time, it's bullets ringing, and I, my daughter is right on my, my 18 months old following me. She's always on my foot. She's talking about her near-death experience. Her two daughters witnessed it all. Police say that woman went to answer a knock at her apartment door when she was shot through the door. KXAN's Caitlin Carmuth is live with this happened with her remarkable story and what police are now asking for. Yeah, there is surveillance footage of the complex, and police say it shows people walking around during that time of the shooting. And they're hoping some of those witnesses will come forward and provide some more details after the shooting because the woman is saying she never saw who shot her. I literally stepped up to look out the peephole. About the time my feet touched back the ground, I was, I, I was being shot through my door. Despite the gunfire, Precious Shaw is calling January 10th a miracle. I know it was God. Eight bullets piercing through her solid metal door with her two and nine year old daughters inside. By the third time she said, who is it? I jumped out of the bed. You know, I just felt like something wasn't right. She then herself yelled out, who is it? The only sound she heard was the gunfire. Her daughters witnessing their mother start to bleed out. My nine year old daughter is in the hallway hollering at the top of her lungs. Mama, somebody shot you. My nine year old daughter, I, I stay calm because I see how freaked out my nine year old daughter is. My nine-year-old daughter ran downstairs, got my neighbor, and called an ambulance for me. Two surgeries and a four-week road to recovery. She's standing, and so is that suspect somewhere still out there. Everything is, you know, I'm trying to make sure I don't get pushed to the back burner. You know, being from a black community, you know, they see a lot of crime and stuff like that, and I just want to make sure that I'm getting taken seriously. And ABD says that they did put a call to witnesses out back in January, but there were other violent crimes happening at the time. They said they're, they're hoping this second call to witnesses is heard again. In Austin, Caitlin Carmode for KXAN News.